I don't think it closes it. I think what it does, it opens the dialogue now. Uh, the apology is welcomed, and I think it was well received in our region. But I think at the end of the day, there are other issues. What is the process now right. to deal with these? What are the I mean, OK, they're going to they're try and expedite it. They put in a task exactly. force. Is that enough, or is there? Well, there are the issues, as this, this uh, uh, reporting that we've just seen here, the Green family. Uh, how do you compensate people for what they've endured? How do you deal with the very real trauma that families have had? You know, this debate is, has been talked about as if uh, it's a part of an immigration debate. But remember, when the Windrush generation came here, they were not immigrants properly construed. They were coming as British subjects. They were coming from British colonies. We were all part of the British Empire when they came. Mm -hmm. And we would have come uh, 40, 50 years ago to help to rebuild this country after World War II. And so I entirely agree that the contribution has been made by Caribbean-born British nationals, and it is now time for the UK government right. to do the right to, thing. To, to treat them uh, in Absolutely. a responsible way. Tell me this, as we watch that film, do you think if the Greens had been white, they would have had to endure that experience? It's difficult to say. I don't know that this uh, revolves around an issue of race. I think it is uh, rather revolving around an issue of misplaced, uh, perhaps misguided policy, or perhaps unintended consequences of this policy. Mm -hmm. I felt, as I sat in uh, at number 10 today with my prime minister and with other prime ministers around the region, from the Caribbean region, I felt uh, that your prime minister here, um, uh, Theresa May, is perhaps best placed to deal with this fiasco because clearly she was Home Secretary when many of the rules went into effect that now are having these disastrous consequences for so many people. Some people are saying, it, it, as Home Secretary, she was pandering to you know, populist opinion, uh, being seen to be doing something about an issue of concern and didn't think it through. Would that be your take on what happened here? Or are you more sympathetic to what the government was trying to do in the, the, the 2010s? Well, I think as a politician myself, we understand that we try our best to frame policy. It doesn't always work. It doesn't always work as we intend it to work. Um, I think I'm prepared to give uh, the Prime Minister the benefit of her statements, to take her at her word, and uh, to ensure, and we in the Caribbean intend through our High Commissioners here, to continue to push for this so-called Windrush generation to be treated fairly, to be treated yeah. properly and to be given their rightful place it, here in the United Kingdom. Because th th there's the other stage of this, is that th this has been talked about for a while. When did you first become aware of it? When did your team start saying, hang on, something's going on here, we've got well, people who are not well, really Well, based on the briefings here. that we've had, this issue has been sort of knocking about for more than two years. Yeah. So, the, so they the, were told, the, and they, they basically were told. just thought, well, why, yeah, what a... Well, the truth is, I think, and this is one of the, 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 the great and the tremendous value, I think, of the media, because I think the media here played a critical role in making this issue topical. It has come now on the, on the eve of, of Shogam, the, our Commonwealth, Commonwealth Heads of Government, Heads of Government meeting. meeting. And so it's a major distraction, if you will, that this now, this sort of uh, dirty laundry, if you will, is being aired at this particular time. So I think the timing and the role of the media uh, have been critical. But what, what, do you th what do you think of the immigration in debate in Britain now? I mean, we're meant to be projecting ourselves as a post-Brexit global nation, very not retreating from the world at all. I think immigration, not only here in the United States and the rest of Europe, has become a very topical issue. Um, indeed, it's an issue even in the Caribbean, as we have intra-regional travel. What I will say is that, that in, in, in countries clearly have the right to determine uh, who they let in and who they don't let in. Um, this particular generation of people, I think, are the exception, because as I said, they would have come when they were British nationals. But I think that the way that the British government deals with the Windrush generation might have implications post-Brexit right. in terms of how Europeans living in England are to be treated and vice versa, how uh, people from England and living in Europe are, are to be treated as well. Foreign Minister, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks. We did ask the government to come on the programme to talk about the treatment of the Windrush generation this evening, but they said nobody was available.